here nobody on earth died. This water tastes funny. I shouldn't complain, it's a miracle the water has been turned back on, and that we still have electricity for that matter. It's been just over 12 months since the governments of the world began to notice that death rates had started to plummet. Another month after that was when they realized death rates worldwide had flatlined altogether. So far, nobody can figure how it happened, whether through some mystic intervention or a sinister freak of nature. Either way, it's the disaster no one expected. Of course, sickness still occurred over last year, accidents still took place and people were still attacked, it's just that none of them happened to die. But birth rates continued, strong as ever. Soon, hospitals overfilled, homelessness shot through the roof, overpopulation overtook the planet, food, water, electricity, basic supplies all started to dwindle in the shadow of the ever-increasing populace. Suddenly, the TV in the living room crackles to life of its own accord. An emergency broadcast. Something must be happening. It's a live feed from the Oval Office. The president sits at her desk. She shuffles papers on the table nervously. Today is a hard day, she croaks. Tears well up in her eyes. It is a sad day for our great country. Usually, I can come out and address you all in a collected, presidential manner. But today, I cannot. Today, I need to speak to my fellow Americans, not as president, but as a person. The past year has been one of the hardest the world has ever had to face. And this international crisis has caused unprecedented turmoil throughout our country and the world. There are no signs of this catastrophe course correcting itself in the near future, and we are running out of options. We need to deal with this situation ourselves. We've been scouring through our options, and yet. Only one possible solution has presented itself. The president allows herself one short sob as fresh tears roll down her cheeks. And I make this decision with the heaviest of hearts, but I know it is my duty to do what is best and necessary for the country I love. We intend to carry out this solution in the most humane way and fairest possible method random selection. God bless you all, and God bless America. With that cryptic addressal, the broadcast cuts to feeds of government trucks parked outside random different residential areas across the country, dispatching what looks to be various corpses into the backs of the trucks. I walk over to the window and notice a truck pulling up outside our block. Funny, it looks just like the government ones on TV. Suddenly, a loud thump comes from the kitchen. I rush in and see my roommate lying face down on the kitchen floor. Before I have time to react, my vision goes blurry and my head spins. I look down at the glass in my fist. This water tastes funny.